What's up everybody? Jeff so January. It's your boy. Got a tag video for you guys. This is going to be the 50 questions you've never been asked tag. I hope that I haven't already answered these questions in a tag. Again, haven't checked them. Just going to go straight through them. So let's get into this, shall we? Alright, um, <clears throat> what's your favorite candle scent? Vanilla. I, I love the smell of vanilla. I'm not going to lie about that. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Fuck. I think her name is Zoe. I I cannot uh, I cannot remember her last name, but uh, the girl that played um <clears throat> in uh fuck I cannot remember the movie. It was that uh, Marvel movie. And everybody had the suit powers and jet, and she was like the alien looking one. Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking about, but her. I, I would like for her to be my sister. She seemed pretty cool. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Leonardo DiCaprio. I just like the swag on that dude. I, th I think he's cool. I do. Just saying. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Fuck. <laughs> um, I'm hoping. <laughs> Baby, I don't want to be past 37. I don't. But at the same exact time, like I said, I, I'm waiting for God to do what he does. Like I said, I'm, like I said I, I'm not against dating, but my thing is I don't want to sit here and mess with anything. Because I won't be sitting here and playing around over here when who I'm, who's supposed to be for me is right here. Mm -mm, no, not doing that. Hell to the no, no. Just saying. All right. <clears throat> Next question. <clears throat> Do you know a hoarder? <laughs> I do, and I'm just gonna leave it at that because if I talk about it, it's gonna give me in trouble. Can you do a split? No, I cannot. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Well, I think I was seven, but at the same exact time, like I knew how to ride, but I sucked at it. So I like <clears throat> it was just one of those where it it required too much coordination and i'm not coordinated enough so i stopped riding after that so i haven't ridden a bike since i was fucking yeah younger <laughs> how many oceans have you swam in uh yeah real don't swim <laughs> moving on how many countries have you been to um just two just two like i said asia and here just two is anyone in your family in the army? Um, what would you name your daughter if you had one? I would name my daughter Eve Shoshana. And the reason being is, like I said, all of my kids are gonna have a Hebrew name. And that, and like I say, I mean, Eve is derivative, you know, well, Eve is in the Bible, okay? But, uh, and Shoshana is Hebrew for Rose. My grandmother, my mother's mother, her name was uh, Eva Rose. So pretty much I'll be naming my daughter, you know, Eve Rose. It'll just be Eve Shoshana, so. Just throwing it out there, so. But that's what I would name my daughter if I had one. But, that is not up to me. <laughs> I just have input, because I'm not pushing it out. So whomever is crazy enough to marry me, it's ultimately up to her uh the uh name of our children so what would you name your son if you had one like i said uh it depends because i actually want three boys and one girl and the daughter to be last but you know michael and joseph i know those are two names so and uh probably jacob again think about the bible there it is um what What's the worst grade you got on the test? A fucking F. <laughs> what was your favorite TV show when you were growing up? I had so many. There was the regular Transformers. There was Beast Wars. There was Bobby's World. Uh, Xena, Hercules. Talking about with the actors. Even the cartoons. Like, And I fucking love cartoons. I still do. Um, oh my god, Heathcliff, Garfield, like, there were, like, it wasn't just one, okay? Mighty Morphin motherfucking Power Rangers, talking about the original before they went to Zio and shit. Awesome. Did you get dressed up on Halloween when you were eight? I think I probably did. Possibly. Have you read any of the Harry Potter's Hunger Games Twilight series? Hail to the fuck no. 
would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? I would rather have a Chicago motherfucking accent. That dialect, bitch. Not calling y'all a bitch, but nah. I, I, I'm I good with what I got, okay? <laughs> Did your mother go to college? Uh, sort of, kind of. She uh, attended classes. More or less, it was uh, for just making sure that she had her job security, so... Did she like formally, formally? I don't believe so, but I know she uh, attended classes. Um, are your grandparents still married? They were actually on both sides of my family. Like all of my grandparents are deceased. Like I said, my grandparents are older in age or were when they passed away, but both sets, yeah, they were married. Um, have you ever taken karate lessons? No, probably like to, not necessarily karate, but some type of martial arts, not necessarily karate, maybe jujitsu or maybe, uh, you know, one of those other ones. I don't know if necessarily karate is for me, but you know, whatever. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? It's the reason my damn channel is called Spilling All the Tea. That's the more recent one, but I watched the Muppet Babies, the Muppets, c come on now, don't do that. <clears throat> What's the first amusement park you ever been to it's either going to be kitty land or six flags but i think it might have been kitty land and if y'all know what kitty land is then you not where the fuck i'm from what language besides your native tongue or your native language would you like to be fluent in well i'm actually brushing up on my hebrew right now so there it is <clears throat> do you spell the color as gray or gray so g-r-e-y or g-r-a-y g-r-a-y is your father bald no he's not do you know trip do i know triplets do i know any i don't know any triplets i i don't do you prefer the titanic or the notebook neither have you ever had indian food yes i have really enough in korea but yes i've had indian food what is the name of your favorite restaurant Again, I am drawing a actually no, I'm really not drawing a blank. It has to be Brown's chicken. Only because I fucking love liver and I said this in a separate video, but I love liver. Um have you ever been to Olive Garden? Olive Garden once. Do you belong to any warehouse stores, Costco, BJ, etc.? Yes, I'm actually I actually uh have a Sam's Club card where I get my food and I buy my shit in bulk, even being single. And y'all need to stay tuned because I'm actually going to show you guys how even though I buy in bulk, how I stretch it being a single person. But even with that, whether you're single or not, how you can sit here and maximize savings. Maxim and, you, and here's the thing, the key is y'all need a freezer. If y'all ain't got a freezer, get your ass a freezer. It's gonna help you now, I'm just saying. What would your parents have named you if you were of the opposite gender. <laughs> Maybe Yarala? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I have a tea time talk about this somewhat in particular. And it's a real quick one. Y'all may get this in uh y'all may get this later on this month. I haven't quite decided. Um if you have a nickname, what is it? I have many, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. Like, depending on who the person is, will depend on what my name is. You know, like uh, my immediate family, and I said it for a reason. Call me real. The rest of my family, they must call me y'all real, or a motherfucker won't answer. My cousin Clara, she calls me Tank. My mother, y'all not gonna know what the fuck she called me because I swear, if anybody calls me that, we gonna have a damn problem. But. <laughs> Many different people have different names for me, you know, even my, you know, YouTube moniker, you know, or more or less my Twitter and all the other monikers, but it's, you know, T spilling like, I have different fucking names. I really do. So, uh, who's your favorite person in the world? Um, I have two, actually, no, I have three, but two of them happen to be deceased. It's my, my grandmother. I loved, loved her. Like I said, um, <clears throat> She's like, her presence had a very, very huge impact on my life. My uh, cousin, uh, Yolanda, she's also deceased. I lost her before I enlisted. You know, after my grandmother, she had a ma like she had a massive impact on my life. And my cousin, Clara, like I said, we're first cousins. And let's just say we ride for each other. Like I said, we just a bad fucking combination. So I guess if it's currently, it would have to be my cousin, Clara. I fucking love her. Um, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? 
Where I'm at in my life right now, suburbs. Suburbs. I'm, I'm not even gonna fucking lie to you. You know, it's one of those where it's just like, you know, I've lived in the hood, been in some ghettos, but I lived in the hood, and it's one of those where it is what it is, but, you know, hey, sometimes you just gotta step your shit up, so. Can you whistle? Used to be able to, but I can't anymore. Do you sleep with a nightlight? I do not. But more often than not, I actually do sleep watching TV or YouTube, and I sometimes fall asleep to that. So, uh, do you eat breakfast every morning? Yes, but no. Do I eat first? Okay, here's the thing. I do intermittent fasting. So, do I eat breakfast? Yes, I eat my first meal is considered breakfast. Do I eat it when I first wake up? No, I at most time... I don't eat until anywhere from four to eight hours after I wake up. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just because of the intermittent fasting, but that's just how my body is where I don't wake up with that craving to eat. And you know, the whole intermittent fasting, that cup, that right there, along with uh, how I've been preparing my foods and everything else has helped me, you know, drop the uh, 40 pounds that I've already lost. So yeah, but I do eat breakfast. Do you take any pills or medication daily? Yes, I do. Uh, I do. Like I said I, there are supplements that I do take, and uh, in terms of like medication, uh, like I said Allegra because like I said I do have allergies, and I am on high blood pressure medicine. But hopefully, get this, get you know, get my fucking ass down to two hundred pounds. I won't have to take that shit anymore. Um, what medical conditions do you have? Ah. Uh, just high blood pressure and again hopefully done with that hopefully how many times have you been to the hospital um <clears throat> somewhere between i want to say mid i'll just round up and just say 10 to include consultations the two knee surgeries that i've had and just a few times that i've been in as a child and i'm not talking for like shots and shit have you ever seen find an emo dude like i was like whoa she was like whoa and it was like whoa hopefully that answer your question where do you buy your jeans uh exchange believe it at that <laughs> if you got if y'all know what i'm talking about then you got it uh what's the last compliment you got that i'm that i'm cute <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like because you're very cute so you know i got that i was cute um do you usually remember your dreams in the morning uh five percent of the time uh what flavor tea do you enjoy the long island kind how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Okay, they're just talking about shoes and not boots. I'm probably gonna say maybe like 20. Um, what religion will you raise your children to practice? It's going to be Judaism, <clears throat> but at the same exact time, I mean, I'm gonna raise them, you know, Jewish and like I said, you know, after their uh, bar and bat mitzvah, if they decide that Judaism is not for them, they are more than happy to go and search for whatever. The only thing that they will understand is when you come past that threshold of my damn door, is uh, whatever you were taught is what we're going to abide by. All right, and uh, yeah, no, like it's it's that fucking symbol. So if you decide that you want to go do something else, perfectly fine. Because I do believe that if I train up the child the way that he or she should go, when they get older, it and when you know the whole, they will not depart personally i don't think it means that they won't leave but it means that it's always going to stay with them because what i've learned is uh with a lot of people even you know after converting and people you know uh jews around my age more or less than men they've even said that you know they've gone on their own path but life has brought them back so there's that um how old were you when you found out santa wasn't real i don't fucking remember just know that my children ain't gonna fucking believe in no damn Santa Claus. And why do you have a Tumblr? Because uh, I have a lot of social media and that's just one of the fucking hours that I have. And it's none of your motherfucking business. So that's all I have. 50 questions. I gave it to y'all in another 15 minutes. Awesome. I'm the best. Alright you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.